Hey everyone, it's Lauren here. I want to take you guys along with me and show you what I did earlier today. Sorry for like the mess. I'm just kind of doing this, wigging this. But I did some stuff this morning and I would like to show you guys what I did. And I've been talking about showing you guys my fairy garden for a while. So I want to take you outside and I want to show you the progress on one of my fairy gardens in particular. The other one's my daughter's and that one we kind of play around in. So it changes all the time. But I would like to show you guys what I have going on. And yeah, if you sound like you're into that, stay tuned and come with me and I'll show you. First thing I want to show you guys is this fairy garden. This was built out of reclaimed wood from my grandfather's barn and two old chairs. My mom put it together and she gave this to us as like a housewarming gift when we moved into our house. And you can see I have some Creeping Jenny planted in here, some other annuals, some chives, coleus. Um, these are the lemon spot or the lemon something peperomia. My peperomia out front was getting too leggy, so I simply just trimmed it off and stuck it down in here and it has rooted and got some moss that I've, I get moss down here in our flower beds. So I literally just dig it up and put it here in the garden. It grows very well, so very pleased with how this one turned out this year. I probably will be adding some more moss within here just when I feel like it as as the summer progresses. And then down here I have a plant from my grandfather that I am trying to bring back to life. I had it in the basement all winter. That's how I overwintered it and it was not a good idea. Over here is my next little fairy garden area. I should have picked up the bags and stuff, but this is real life. This is typically how it looks. I have some hostas that are still coming in from the previous owners. I need to dig those up and transplant them because I don't want them here. Even though they do great here, I just want something a little different. Here is the Creeping Jenny that has taken over and it is in bloom. Bright yellow bloom, super cool. I planted it in here last year and it trailed down and rooted itself in this gravel thing I got going on. And now look at these coleus. Now in another pot, I will show you the coleus that I grew from seed and just note the difference. These obviously were, I think I got these at Campbell's greenhouse. I'm not, I can't quite remember, but they are growing really well so far along with some perennials. This came back all on its own along with the Creeping Jenny. And we must have some critters nibbling on this, some bugs of some kind, but got my little gnomies hanging out, holding down the fort and this little cute thrifted cradle. It's not much, it's simple. And that's kind of how I like things. It's a little ornate and pretty. We'll slowly do a little walk by past the garden tomatoes are doing good peppers i had broccoli right here but the bunnies ate it so i just planted that squash and right here is cantaloupe peppers and sweet peas sweet peas growing up the trellis some sweet potato vine creepy scarecrow you know gotta keep those uh, animals out my cucumbers are starting to trellis up. My cattle panels and my green beans are actually coming in. Pretty sure we have beanage. Let's see. Yes, we got some green beans coming. This is a wild tomato or an heirloom tomato. Last year, my tomatoes were planted over here. And this year, a bunch of tomatoes came back. We got one there. I decided to give this one its own little cage. That one's been growing up. People uh, beeping back there. And then we got onions, peppers, doing pretty good. So far, so good. My broccoli got ate. Some of my, these two got eaten back by probably rabbits. So, 
So that's a little overview of the garden. Now on to what I did this morning. Here, um, a quick little story time. Went to Home Depot today to return a few things and I came home with some perennial uh, ferns. I found an awesome palm tree. Can't wait to show you guys. Some vegetables and a couple more perennials to put in this flower bed back here because it needs help. All right, so in the wheelbarrow here, we have some ferns, some squash, this amazing palm. Look at this. And then this gorgeous looking hosta. But I really need to fix this area up and give some of my plants a chance at life. So let's do this. I have so many of these gloves and I always have the problem of finding two left hands or two right hands. What is this stuff? I need to get rid of it. It's everywhere. Now I have some cardboard back there to kill some of the grass and some of the weeds that are coming up. But if anyone can tell me what this stuff is, this stuff continually comes up through the mulch. And I'm not one who likes to put down that weed guard i don't know why i don't like it i just don't this stuff comes up every year and i spray it and it doesn't go away it just comes back so if anyone has a way that i can get rid of this stuff let me know or if you know what it is because it's like taking over in here here is the final product i know it doesn't look the best there's still a lot of progress to be made I cannot seem to figure out what these little green things are that keep growing. If you can't tell, they have filled in this whole entire area. There are the ferns. I decided not to move my two lavender, even though I can tell they're reaching for more light. I'm going to give it a shot. We're going to attempt to trim back this tree slightly to provide it with a little bit more sun for my wisteria back there. But there's the hostas, the two ferns, lavender and lavender. I do plan to get this completely weeded by the end of summer. And next spring, I do want to add new mulch. We added mulch last summer and this summer with everything we have going on. I just decided to wait. I wanted to get in the plants that were appropriate. So I dug out all the perennials that were sun lovers and I moved them all along here along this fence which gets direct light for most of the day right in here and right in there I need to dig that all up add topsoil give it a better more nutrient dense area to grow these rocks were also added this summer so this is all a new project all the rocks and the etching and all all that jazz it will be very cool to show you guys next year what it looks like. So we can do a before and after, so to say, or a then and now. That's in there to try and kill some weeds. I, I don't know if it's working. We'll see. Keep her. Well guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the fairy garden. 
and me busting my butt, digging some holes. And Keeper's cute face, right Keeper? Say see you next time. See you guys later. 